wow, whatever. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Bob Danka was an organ enthusiast who started playing a Hammond organ back when he was 13, 14 years old. He eventually bought a church in Northwest Pennsylvania to house his big collection of organ and organ parts. He would travel around from places all over the state, even as far as Indiana, to find various organs and various parts that he would use to create his own organs. And then these are his plans here. All the schematics he drew for his own organ that he was going to build. I guess he was taking from a, a Rogers and copying what they had, creating his own, probably for a church or something. But like, man, especially back then with the technology and trying to create from scratch what your own organ would be, that's, that's rather amazing. Wow, guy definitely loved his craft. Despite his efforts, his collection eventually grew out of style as the emerging technology and changing interest of instruments has caused a decline in the purchase of organs. Today, only 22 of the original 34 organs in this church still remain. But while they are here, let us check them out. Alrighty, so first up of what I think are the working organs, we have the Kimball Camelot organ. Um, That was the Kimball Camelot organ. Then what I think we have is a Multimatic Percussion Wurlitzer. So you have your solos, 16, 8, 5 and a half, 4, so you have all your uppers here. You have your, I believe it's kind of like a Leslie. accompaniments your shaboom which adds a little click, I guess. Chimes, you have a bunch of chimes and various effects. I think you can actually change the speed of the, what I think is a Leslie. Very nice, very solid sound, very lush. Has a very, very nice sound to it. Awesome, moving on. Next is one of my favorites that I've played here um, is the Technics Musical Display, a more 80s, newer kind of tail end of the home organ, if you will, like a plastic kind of thing. But there's so much going on here. Unfortunately, most of it I haven't had enough time to really figure out. But just to get some sounds, you have all sorts of like vintage, you have your organ. Then you have like orchestras, there's your brass. You can change your lowers, add all your little effects on here. <laughs> Piano which doesn't really sound like a piano. You have like a transposer. <laughs> I love how that transposes. You also have these crazy drums that just, oh, they just scream 80s and I, I appreciate that a lot.
the Technics organ. Again, my favorite of the display we have here. The Lowery Genie 44 is the next organ we have here. rhythms. Of course the lower manual doesn't seem to work so you only have like a few keys up here but it gets you some idea. Awesome. So that is the Genie 44. This is another Wurlitzer. Looks to be of an older model. I don't see the type. Oh look at that. manual doesn't seem to work again and the percussion seems to be iffy um, okay that's the uh, that's the other Wurlitzer this is another Wurlitzer uh, Wurlitzer Orbit 3 it says synthesizer here which is Interesting. Nice and loud. I haven't really played Wurlitzers before, but I'm rather impressed by what I've been playing so far. Seems like it has some sort of a synth module built in near the top, which is what I think this has to do with, but unfortunately I'm not really getting any sound off of it. You have your typical effects here, upper lower style. I think you have like a tremolo as well built in. You have a Synthesizer, which has feet, I think they're just like sine waves, but it, from what it looks like over here, you can modulate the attack sustain and I think even the pitch. And unfortunately, unless I don't know how it works, it doesn't seem like it really has any juice in it, unfortunately. Cassette player as well, that's always an interesting touch. So that's the World Sir Orbit 3. Over here. We have a Hammond. Ooh, this one you could just hear the motors running. Very beautiful sounding. All right, here is a Wurlitzer. Looks to be a very old type with this just real wood kind of polish on it that's fading off. I think this is a much older style. So you have like sustain options. I like the reverb on this one too. The vibrato sounds very solid. You can change the, the 
depth options as well for that. Sounds very, very old, analog sounding. Uh, very nice reverb to this Wurlitzer. Wurlitzer is, Wurlitzer is really winning. Got a lot of good ones coming. Here we have the Hammond organ. I'm not sure of the model. Uh, you have your upper and lower manual draw bars for upper and lower. Uh, you have percussion, which is very unique to this one. Uh, you have a volume softener, which cuts out a lot of the background noise, which is very nice. A um, bunch of rhythms, bunch of styles. You have a variation, which I think changes the the style of it, makes it a little more like natural sounding. But overall, it just sounds very, it just sounds very interesting. So very cool rhythm generator. You know, whatever you can pull from it. You have your nice lamp to see your music, which is cool. So a very interesting organ. You know, you have your typical stuff, but the rhythms provided a lot of depth in a weird way, because a lot of times you just see them as cheesy. So that's this version of a Hammond organ here. This organ here, I assume, is a... Maybe a Lowry or Kimball, I'm not really sure. It doesn't have it on the front here. It says a Jamboree, whatever that is. Very clunky sound. Sustain. You have a chorus. Chorus is off here, you turn that on. You also have an option for a Leslie, but I don't think that works. At least I don't hear it. You have 36 rhythms. You probably shouldn't turn them all on at once, um, unless you want to get something um, a little bit inhumane. And let me just demonstrate that really quick. But it gives you the option to do that. So that is quite interesting. Moving on. Here we have a larger size Hammond organ. Very similar to the one we just reviewed before, except with this one, you lose a bit of the draw bars. Seems like you lose a bit of the customization with the rhythm, but you gain this really interesting chord tracking under here, where when you press one of these keys between this section, it gives you a chord progression and the key note will just stay there. So say for example, I wanted to play a C major, you'd hit this chord here. And it'll, I'm not sure how to take it off, but it'll sit there until you pull the key up. You come down here, you play C, you play A minor, and it'll just kind of play it for you as I guess just a practice, so you don't have to, instead of playing the chord, just press that, it makes it a little easier for playing. You have the strings options, which makes it sound very full. You add your strings. You also have these options down here, which show little instruments, and I'm not really sure when you select those, how those affect it. But those are the differences with what I'm seeing from this one versus the one we reviewed previously. And finally, we have what looks like a bit of a newer model of a Wurlitzer, a cheaper version here. Yeah, overall a simpler model. Very simple, you know, you have your lowers, your uppers, your effects.
make some cool effects with it. Um, almost like an LFO on these upper ones here. Which is a neat sound, especially with that kind of little bit of a delay reverb there. Uh, you have your cheesy rhythms, which are interesting. You know, overall, a very round, well-rounded uh, basic organ. You can play chords, so you can press a note, say if you want to play an F major or G7. It's very easy, automatic, self-playing. So, kind of help people learn probably how to better play chords and lead at the same time. So overall, very basic, well-rounded organ. And I think that is all we have for today. Unfortunately, what once was an amazing art and something that a bunch of people would invest a lot of time and energy in is no longer something that is as useful and as sought after as it used to be. And unfortunately, this church serves as a time capsule for a dying era, really a sanctuary for vintage organs. Well guys, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today to review this wonderful collection of organs. Thank you very much to the owners of this church for letting me come in here and give a brief history about the guy who had such an amazing art of a collection here. Thank you so much for watching. And please feel free to check out my other videos where I do review videos as well as music videos. I'm DJ Space Dude, and I hope you all stay awesome.